No. Uh, voting day, of course, yesterday. Um, here's Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his fiancée Carrie at the polling station. Um, arm in arm. Oh, no, and they're not arm, arm in arm. arm. Well, He's marching her off to tidy her room. <laughs> <laughs> That's the unsexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. She looks like she's thinking, I don't know if this cheque is enough. I don't know. <laughs> He's oh, dragging her in there, isn't he? <laughs> well vote. Well, it's so funny that you've all picked up on that because we did get um, a body language expert. Oh, are we right? Really? For women's health. Um, and this is what she says. Arm linking is non-romantic. Wow. Uh, because you see this in a parent-child relationship. Yeah. It wow, signifies look. a different experience with the escort having more power. Who do you think the escort is? Him. Well, you see, you might think... I think she is. She's you the think? powerful one, yeah. We'll wait till the end of the sentence. The escort having more power and leading the partner in a paternalistic way. It doesn't show closeness or happiness. It's more formal or proper way of touching that is not wow. as intimate. Wow. Interesting. I mean, Interesting. The thing is, you know, Boris... It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I'm say, I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> it, it just, it, look, he's just got that kind of look. I reckon that he's got that kind of character that, you know, when the ladies meet him and he starts talking and stuff like that to them and they get all excited. He just seems like he's one of those... Do you, get, ones, excited you get excited or confused, though? No, no, let me say it very clearly, no. But he just looks like, you know, it's like Mama, you either love him or you don't. He just seems like on a one-to-one -one, he'd probably have a lot of character to him. And what would that. you think if a fella of yours held your arm like that, would that, would that, that would excite you, Judy? You no, know, that, holding my hand like that, that would, that would definitely turn me off. It would be a no-no. If I'm honest with you, like, before, if a, a guy tried to hold my hand... I remember one time I went on a date and a guy did try to hold my hand, like, ten years ago. So, <laughs> not been that long, people, OK? Um, and I, it just... I was almost like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you holding my... I was weird. What are you trying to do? Do you not to, like it? It didn't feel right at the time. Now, I'm good. Like, I'm walking past grabbing anyone's hand. My hand's out. <laughs> my hand's out right here. You can take it right now. But before, it was like... Well, it wasn't something I was... It's very really... intimate to hold it a hand. Very intimate, I think if you're not really lovely. into to them enough, mm. then it's an issue. I think if you were like fully, like I've had that. I had this guy. I called him Train Guy. <laughs> for, I saw him on a train for for years. I thought it was so hot. Finally, I ended up meeting him. I spotted him one night, and one of my friends was like, "Oh my god, I know him!" Introduced him to me. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm meeting the hot Train Guy." Didn't live up to any of my oh. expectations because it's been a year where I've dreamed up this perfect mm. man. So you were literally lusting after him for a year? Well, just every time I saw him, I was like, oh, he's all right. <laughs> um, he looked great. And then even, like, when he spoke, that just wasn't what I'd imagined. And he would always try and hold my hand. And I'm quite an affectionate person. Yeah. And I just hated it. I was like, I was a bit like that. I was a bit like, what are you doing? Because to me, that's like a signal of we're together... Yeah. We're in love, and like that—that that was not where but I was at. It's the worst, though. Like you just said, when you you, you have this fantasy of somebody, or they look a particular way, and then they do something to change. I had this guy that I was dating back in the days, and he had he had locks, and they were really like nice and just all over the place, and would bounce on my face. And then one day, <laughs> I must have said to him, "Go and like get it done, like neaten it up at the hairdresser. So you can get it relocked again." And he did it, and he turned up, and I literally was like, "Who, who is that?" Who... <laughs> He <laughs> just didn't look the same. I was completely put off. I was in the toilet texting my friend, talking to my friend, saying, oh, my gosh, I don't know if I like him no more. <laughs> I'm funny like that. The hairline changes. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, how those little things can just... I know. Bad. Like, like, you know, if a... If a if I'm, you know, when I was dating and stuff, you know, if a boy just, if it just didn't feel right, yeah, oh, I you agree. knew nothing was going like to feel really? right. There's an yeah. overclass. What do you mean by wrong... nothing Well, if was the hand feel... was the wrong way round, it's yeah. like, this isn't going to work. I know what you're saying, there's an overclass or an underclass. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If somebody holds like your hand over like that, are you under? I like it like that. That's very intimate. No, I you like go that. straight to between fingers, do you? No, 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 it takes a little while to get between fingers. Oh, sorry. You can. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So exciting. And that's what happens to them when they get in between the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's Friday, but yeah. you know. What about you, Kay? Um, well, actually, Ian's a very good hand holder. And that was one of the sort of early signs. No, he doesn't do it like that. Really that was the early signs. We're, we're all thinking that's a yeah. good. No, 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 no. Not but anyway, I, I know what's happening in my head. Um, <laughs> but I, I did go out with a guy once, and this was a very odd one. I don't know whether he was slightly shorter than me, so I don't know whether this has something to do with it. But he used to, like, 
hold my neck oh, at God. the back. At the back, is what it's divot in my oh, the the neck. So, like, if I was going to go like yeah. that, well, hang on. So, right, yeah, if we're walking along the street, yeah, right, okay. Like. So, um, <laughs> you have to imagine that he's. Holding your I'm neck. him and he's me, right? So that's me, right? Okay. Um, so we would walk along the street like that, and he's holding the back of my neck like that. So we're going out like that, and yeah, I'm fe feeling like a ventriloquist dummy, and I'm thinking, I would see a corner coming up, and I'd think, oh! <laughs> 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 what you doing this with my neck? What? Did you and say anything to him? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why don't you say anything? What do you, what do you think, think she could have said, Judy? Leg arm, innit? <laughs> yeah, it's that one minute. <laughs> like oh. that as well, OK? I know, all right, OK. okay. Yeah. Leg arm, innit? Leg arm, innit? Just to say, just to say, uh, <laughs> go back to Boris and Carrie, you know, that arm holding. Yeah. Yeah. When they came out, they were holding hands, but that seems quite irrelevant at this moment. But I just like to be fair. <laughs> 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 and settle. And settle.